had some challenges early, but I thought they really responded well. Between Contreras' first win today, Yuri's first win, Castillo's first pitch, does that feeling ever get older, the manager being able to experience that? <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's what I just told him. Um, you know, when you have a lot of young players that come to the big leagues, you have a lot of firsts and check off boxes. And, you know, for us to continue to grow and develop, we have to check off boxes. But for Roe to do that and the way he did it today was uh, pretty cool for him. You talked yesterday about Bogey getting on base, working counts, and he got four hits tonight. Almost hit for the cycle. What was that like to see him? <laughs> well, it would have been magical if he would have hit for the cycle because <laughs> he would have gotten a triple, and that would have been fun to watch. I'm telling you that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, good at bats, consistent at bats, and uh, hit the ball hard. You know, but I, you know, any time you get a home run to, to lead off the game. But after we go up three in the first, to kind of respond right back. But uh, he had good swings. Shelton, he could probably speak to more of what he did, but how important was it for Brew Baker to settle down, find whatever he did? Um, you know, after the first thing. Yeah, I mean, challenging first uh, to walk the bases loaded, and then, you know, we misplayed a ball in, in right, and and you know he could have he could have you know gone off the rails, and he didn't. He got himself right back in, gave himself a chance to continue to pitch, was efficient. You know, I think in the in the what third inning he threw like seven pitches, so you know he was able to bounce back, and I think that's just a sign of maturity. With, the, with Ron, we talked about in his first outing the ability to be consistent specifically with that breaking pitch. Was that the biggest difference that you saw today in terms of what went well tonight versus what maybe not went well in single? Yeah, I mean, execution. I mean, to get their two, three, four out, that's, you know, that's a pretty big task. We're talking about, you know, some of the best hitters in the game and, you know, and, and the play made on the Soto balls, like old school shortstop play. That was a hell of a play. Uh, but yeah, the execution of the breaking ball was really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a challenge, and I think we know when we put infielders in the outfield, there's going to be, you know, situations developmentally. That first ball, he just got close to the wall and, and you know, didn't catch it. And, yeah, he knew that. The next one just got caught up in the lights a little bit, and that's going to happen. It's one of the things we have to continue to work through. You know, I had a conversation with him. Like, we know that at times there's going to be plays that, that you know are challenging, and we have to keep going with it. But uh, he's going to be fine out there. Sometimes after getting deals, athletes can maybe get a little tight. Brian and Key Brian haven't seemed that way at all. Does that just kind of speak to the type of makeup that they have? Yeah, I don't think much affects either one of them. And you know, they just continue to go out and play. And you know, I, I the, all the other stuff that happens off the field wise, I think they you know let people handle, and they go out and play. And I think we've seen that in the last few days. Soto has more career walks than strikeouts, and yet Brew got him uh, called third strikes twice, uh, two at bats in a row. It was like to see that. Yeah, I mean he's a good hitter, and he controls his own probably as well as anybody in the game. And I don't even know if it's close. That's how well he controls the bats. And I think that that speaks to, you know, how Brew settled down, and to be able to go through, you know, the back half of their lineup the second time and, and the beginning of the third time. I, I thought showed how effective his stuff was. Okay. Thank you.